it was an exciting day today marked the solemnity of our lord jesus christ the king of the universe yes he's the king of the universe i'll make a defender redeemer and friend he will always be our maker our defender our redeemer and our friend he is the king of the universe it is worthy to note that we have entered year a going forward next sunday we will enter the first sunday of advent let's listen to the homely enjoy The king of 
death. Because he is the firstborn from the dead. He has risen from the dead and has given us the assurance that as long as we remain obedient and remain in his kingdom, in his kingdom, we will also partake of his victory over death. Amen. Amen. The scan says, I myself will go in search of my sheep. I myself will go in search of my sheep. The people of Israel, all those who have been placed in authority, those placed in responsible positions, from time to time who abandon their duties and responsibilities. To the extent that Israel will now be exposed to the dangers surrounding them, enemies surrounding them, will now cash in on the negligence of those who have been placed in authority to take care of them. They will pass on them, they will attack them, molest them, kill them, not least. Only those who will be able to run away under the cover of divine grace will be alive. And that also signifies how deep the love of God for his people is. But no matter what, he will not allow his people to be killed and destroyed to the last person. Else, how could his promise to his people be fulfilled? And how could there be anybody? to witness and enjoy the fulfillment of this game. The fulfillment of this promise by this game. And so God now tells us that being the greater of the world and having authority, supreme authority over everything else, if those who have been put in charge of his people fail, they refuse to discharge their duties in the neglect. Discharging their duties in himself will no longer rely on second parties. He himself will go out searching for his people. This is the person we serve. So celebrating the solemnity of Jesus Christ that came from the universe reminds us that we have nothing to fear. We have nothing to lose as long as we remain obedient to Him. We remain obedient to Him. So as long as we remain obedient to Jesus Christ that came from the universe, who is Lord of Lords and King of Kings? We have no fear. We have no need to fear anything. Your enemies cannot take you for a night. They cannot conquer you. The difficulties will come. Disappointments will come. Failures in business will be the equation. But ultimately, the care will rise up to location. Amen. Amen. The care will rise up to location. And ensure that you succeed. He will rise up to banish your enemies. He will rise up to drive away your fears. He will replace your failures for success. 
He will replace your sickness with good health. He will replace your anxiety with confidence. This is the man we have said. We have the opportunity to control everything he has for us. The table you draw before us. The table you draw for us before our enemies. The good water will help us. The great environment will lead us to. To enable us to refresh our souls. Encouraging the house of 
their situations, to compound their situations about. We help them and encourage them to retaliate, to repent. Coach Wesson's situations. That is tantamount to leading astray the sheep of the universal. My brothers and sisters, we all have something. God has endowed all of us with something. With which to come to the aid of the day. As a very occasion like this. Let us not and can play our own fortunate situations. Let us not compare and necessarily do so and we will that the best happen is not available to you. It's not there for you. But this game says I myself will go searching for my sheep. It's always searching for us. Abate yourself to him. Let him see you. Pour your heart onto him. He will listen. And will come to your age. He will provide for your needs. Always, always be patient with him. Be patient with him. Because the direction for you, you have no idea about it. It means business. It doesn't matter whether you are a sheep or a goat. This is just a military separation. Then we know when the pastor was read, when we were read, we said, then why will be the sheep? But even among the sheep, there will be some goats. Just as among the goats, there will be some sheep. But the point here is that on the day of that event, God, Jesus Christ, the Messiah, will separate those who obey Him from those who disobey Him and give to each according to how they obey Him or disobey Him. According to how each saw Him in their brothers and sisters and came to their age. Let us continue to trust in this. Jesus Christ, the King of the universe, the King of our, of our life, the King of our hearts. Let us continue to invite him to reign in our hearts so that no matter the situation that we find ourselves in, we will serve our courage and our confidence that with him at our side, with him reign in our hearts, we treat ourselves. And the Lord bless us.
We are forever thankful to God for being God to us, giving us life, and for giving us the King of the universe. It has been a blessed Sunday. We thank God for His Word and we pray that He always bestows on us grace to continue to be our defender, our redeemer, and our friend.